Hello viewers, our team has carefully selected these messages for your edification and transformation. Watch and stay blessed. The difference between the natural realm and the supernatural realm is not distance. That realm is here, but it sits in another dimension. And the only one that can open the door to that realm is the Holy Spirit. The Bible says it is He that will guide us into all reality. Reality is stronger than words. Reality is what hits you when you say you have an encounter. It can leave an effect that will last a lifetime. And there is one that guides into all reality. Oh my. Can we pray today? That the Lord will take us into the realm of reality. The explanation stop that cease to exist the moment you touch reality. Reality does not educate through language. No. It educates through experience. Oh, Yaakov of Omaha. It things have become the anchor of your life, the secrets to your life. They will come to you through encounters and it will furnish spiritual knowledge. As long as you are armed with that knowledge, there are areas of your life that have already been settled by spiritual I beheld and heaven opened, and I saw an angel of God descend, and I asked, Lord, why have you sent this message? He said, there is a lady in this congregation. You were supposed to be a seer. Someone that will pray and see how God answers prayer through the gift of discernment of spirits. You were designed by heaven to be a seer. A seer. The anointing of the seer was supposed to be your secret. And as I speak, the angel that is sent from the heavens came, came with that oil. That oil. That oil will be strong upon your life in 17 seconds. The oil will be so strong. The oh, 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 oh my God. 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 This anointing will begin to operate in your life. In 17 seconds, another layer of that anointing will rest. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Open the door of reality. Open the door of reality. I see an intercessor. A woman. Laboring on her knees. Laboring. And it's as if the things you pray for. You are not seeing the answers to your prayers. And discouragement wants to set in. And the Lord said, I should tell you that you are praying amiss. That's why you have not seen the answers to your prayers. And that he wants to equip you with a gift. A gift that will give you access to knowledge in the spirit. That will equip you for your prayers and your warfare. In the next 17 seconds... The hand of God will come upon that woman. Then we will continue. Oh my God. Muzeli kope skufalami siko preminda haite. Robinai tu saleko bami salabonde. Meraski to proske so sante ila abrema londali. If you are baptized in the Holy Ghost, this is the time to. To gain ascendance in the spirit. Yes, give me sound. Ali Momo Rete Sikobre Bobo Tali Yaila Harakat 
Te consa mantelia. Presco se sose la ico preminante. Disco bambe la hura capitale. Rahaske tondele. Rahaska tani monje capre la hido. Un torocos que sasila. En raisco mantelia capomo salabuda. Y la presco tominali. Rakesco te plante casumelaite. Baraco se te pre. Lesi compre, lesi compre, panto coro cose cadiga pre. Laile le posi camande mo sababonde. Mande mo sababonde. La has que te mondo rodobosica. Repidas cante bonde sabenaitela. Ruba baba cosela. Ruba baba la saba. I compress coffee light. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Rusketo bongo bosali. Rahasketo minahain. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. So I saw a garment, a linen garment, descending. And I began to make inquiries from the Lord, what is this garment? He says to me that there is one of us here. You were called to carry the presence of God from place to place. And this vessel that is called to be a carrier of the presence of God, you will be mantled with this garment, and this garment will be the regalia you will wear in the spirit. Now, this anointing I'm talking about, this garment, you will feel it when it comes upon your body. You will feel it. Father, from my left hand side to my right hand side, the carrier of this garment, the carrier of this garment, let this grace fall on him. Let this grace fall on him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's coming stronger, coming stronger, coming stronger, coming stronger, coming stronger. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Who says she let get up in a light? Who says she let not tell ya? Come a man so free, vale to be night. I see the angel of this assembly high in the heavens. The angel of this assembly that I see is in possession of a trumpet and is blowing and blasting. And I'm and I'm asking, what is this? He says, the Lord says, is the proclamation, the shofar that is blown in the spirit is a proclamation. Of a new season for this parish. It's a proclamation of a new season where God will begin to do things unprecedented. Oh my God. 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 If you are baptized in the Holy Ghost, if you are baptized in the Holy Ghost, if you are baptized in the Holy Ghost, something that is a drink. There is a drink that God is beginning to give people to drink. There is a drink. There is a drink. A drink that is drink indeed. is beginning to give. Oh my God. Oh 
It's a new season. I hear it proclaimed. of the Lord say that there is someone here he has been trying to access for 14 days. He has not been able to get your attention. But right now, because this is the first time he's getting your attention in 14 days. And he wants to shield you for, from a danger to come. Because of this, there is a grace that will be put on you so that you will be shielded from the danger that is to come. A danger that is to come. A danger that is to come. You are shielded. The Lord wants to give somebody the gift of healing. He will do he will do that in 15 seconds. That's the only maybe the second person I will touch physically. Father, in this auditorium, that one that you want to give the gift of healing. I ask that you stretch forth your hand. Stretch forth your hand. Stretch forth your hand. Help me find that individual. Put your hand on the person. 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 Thank 
someone, a lady in this auditorium, you went for a medical check, um, something like an ultrasound, and they found fibroids in your womb. Where is this woman? They found fibroids in your womb. They found fibroids in your womb. If, if that woman is here, can you please stop? They found fibroids in your womb. There are two people I'm supposed to touch. One is on the floor here when he revives. I think the other one was. Is it you? Oh, he's on the floor. Okay. okay. Can I just touch you? Can I touch you? Now, a surgery will take place here. A surgery. So I see the angel of fire. The fire of God will descend upon two people in the next 21 seconds. There is fire coming. There is fire. Two people will be caught in this flame. Two people, two people will be caught in this fire. They'll 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 be caught in this fire. Two people, two people, two people, two people, two people will be caught in the flame. Lord, in the name of Jesus. We ask that you kindle your fire against fibroid and let it begin to dissolve from today. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.